So let's go ahead and set up a custom audience. We'll set up two custom audiences and then we'll set up um we'll set up a custom conversion. Now that landing page visitors only, what link is that? What page is that? What uh, landing, landing page? page. Which uh, one? My the, page. the book Just, one? Uh, the uh, restaurant one, yes. Okay, so you want to be specific. Because as I look at that landing page, I'm thinking, what landing page? You know what I mean? So you want to be specific. Okay. Go ahead and, and, and click on, well, yeah, delete it. Let's just do it over. Delete it? Yes, 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 yes. So be specific with the titling of all this shit. Because then you're not going to know what the hell's what as you have 15 different ones listed in the future. You know? You're right. So website, let's go um, Go to your landing page. Yeah, specific. Okay. This is, what is this when it says URL? Or at least, you see, do I type anything here? Yeah, bro. Go to your, go to your, go to Kartra. Go get the landing page link. Oh, that's it. Okay. So what does this contains mean? Go to Kartra, bro. Get the link. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Save progress. Don't leave anything idling. Go back to the, think... the other builder. Go to the builder. Yeah, yeah. Save progress, publish live, and get out of here. Don't leave it sitting like this. Because you're going to lose what you just say, what you just created. Okay, so this would be this page. Okay, so now get your get your landing page. This is for see, so that's what I'm saying that WQR change that shit, bro, you got to get in the habit of customizing your links. Like what, what page is this? A landing page for a restaurant book. In okay, so. Five so tips. Name it five tips. Five tips. Yeah, five tips. Name it, name it, name it exactly what it is. Five tips for restaurant owners or what is it? Five, five tips? Yes, for restaurants. Put that five tips for restaurants. That's the link. So let's save that. Copy that. And then go open it up in the the new in a new tab. So close, open it up over here. Okay, perfect. So this is the landing page. Now yep. let's go back. Let's go to the let's go to the thank you page. So go back to Kartra, open up the thank you page. Let's customize this link. So go ahead and get the dots, get code. Let's customize this one to match the other one. So the other you one see, was I was about to do that and then I didn't know how to do it and then I decided just to keep it simple as this. Okay, so in this oh, one this? what's yeah, our yes. what's our main call to action? The main call to action is to get them to schedule a call. So oh. what I would put I wouldn't put thank you. I'd put schedule your free call now or schedule your free strategy call now or schedule strategy call now. Like not bold, bro. Put everything lowercase. Everything is lowercase. So schedule your free call now or schedule strategy call now. Schedule strategy call now. Yep. Perfect. Yep. There you go. Okay. So copy that. Open it up in a new tab. No, no. Copy that, bro. Did you copy that? Copied it? Oh, I did it. Okay. So let's open it up in a new tab. Those are two audiences that will um, create two custom audiences. Now the third audience, go back to Kartra and let's go to your thank you for scheduling page. So as I go and schedule an appointment, where do I land? Do you even have uh, that page? You don't even have that page, bro. You go on, on, on uh, my calendar, right? Yeah, but you don't have a thank you for scheduling page. Okay, well, we'll do that later then. You, like, like for example, when you go and schedule an appointment with me, you put yes. your time, you put your email, you put your name, you click schedule. It takes you to a thank you for scheduling page. Yes. You need that page. Don't so, I have that? I told you, you get something, no? No, I don't have that. Yeah, so you have to create that, but we'll do that later. So let's do these two audiences right now. So now... Okay. Let's go to your landing page and you're going to copy the URL. You're going to copy the link. The URL is the link. No, bro. Open up the page. You already opened it up. It's in the tab. Go to your landing page. 
HTT as well or all of it, right? No, not the HTTPS. So everything except for the HTTPS. So all of that, that is what you need. That's all you need right there. Copy that. Let's go to Facebook right here. Paste it in right there. So you can go 30 days up to 180. So what I would do is, yeah, I'd go 180. Anyone in the, in the past 180 days that have landed on this page but have not landed on the thank you page, that's website visitors. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on exclude. You're going to go to the thank you page tab at the top, grab that link, and paste it in at the bottom right there. So grab that thank you page link. Yep, there you go. And then um, we're going to name sure. this one. And again, so paste it in all website visitors, go to specific, change the 30 to 180, paste in the URL right there, and name your audience specific. This is landing page restaurant five tips or whatever the hell it is, five tips web page visitors only. So landing page five tips five tips visitors and then in parentheses put only in parentheses put only so they've only landed on the page they have not opted in okay very specific create audience okay. so hit done so that's the one okay so now we're going to do it around the thank you page in fact you already have the thank you page copied so let's go into website no, bro. Come oh. on, bro. Follow my lead. Custom audience, and then click on website. And then what you're going to do here is <clears throat> specific. Do the same thing, 180, <clears throat> and then paste in that link. You already had it. You already had it copied. All right. So now right, we don't need a, anyone. Right. No, you don't need to exclude anyone, but be specific on the title. Name it the same. Landing page or, or thank you page. Thank, thank you, you page. page. Five tips. And then and then in parentheses put leads. Okay. So these two audiences are very, very important. So when it comes down to conversion ads, traffic ads, when it comes down to freaking any ad that you're trying to drive to a landing page, and majority of the time it's gonna be conversions. So Absolutely. when you when when you start running ads, like let's just say ad number two and on, it wouldn't be for ad number one, it'd be for ad number two. Okay. You're gonna always retarget. Wait, 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 bro, wait, wait, wait. Bro, okay. you're sorry, killing me. Sorry, sorry. You're killing sorry. me. You're too, you're too anxious. You got you to gotta let me lead you through this. When you start running the second ad and on, you're going to want to retarget the, the, um, the, the landing page visitors only, right? So from ad number two and on, you should have some data, the pixel, people should be clicking, people should be landing on the page. That's an audience that you'll always retarget, ad number two and on. You'll always retarget your website visitors. And then if you start getting leads, ad number two and on, you'll then always exclude your leads. So those who land on the thank you page, you're going to always exclude them from seeing ad number three, ad number four, ad number five, because they're already leads. So they don't need to keep seeing your ads, you know? Yep. Yep. I understand. So, so those are your custom audiences. Now that's super important. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom conversion. So now you already have the thank you page copied. So now let's just go click on the dots to the left. These are the two most important things to set up your custom audiences and then your custom conversions. So click on events manager and custom conversions. It's only for those that are looking to capture a lead or make sales. So if you're running ads to capture leads or make sales, you want to set up a custom conversion. Um, so click on or hover over the blue triangle to the left and then custom conversions, and then create custom conversions, click on that one, and then right here. So name your custom conversion. 
This is going to be leads. This is going to be um, um, five tips leads. Be specific. Like, you know, um, what did you name the audiences? You named them. Um, no, we could just put leads. Not, not thank you page. Let's just do, let's just do five, five tips uh, leads because everything is around five tips. So right here, five tips leads. Capitalize the F, capitalize the T, capitalize the L, five tips, leads. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to select your own category. This is a custom conversion. So we're going to select our own. We're going to name it. Click on that. Select your own category. Nope. Select your own category. And then hit the drop down recommended. And you're looking for lead. So scroll down. Go ahead and put, click on, you just passed it. Lead. And then paste in the URL right there. Okay, so a custom conversion, go ahead and create. So here's what you have to always, always remember on a custom conversion. As you create it, it's going to show inactive. So click done. It's going to show inactive. Whenever you create a custom conversion, it'll show inactive. What you then have to do is go to the page. So open up the tab at the top. Go to the actual thank you page. Refresh the thank you page. Now, if you look at your Facebook Pixel Helper, go ahead and click on it. You'll now see five tips leads. That's your custom conversion. Hey, tell me you're recording this, please. So, so yeah. So Great. that's how you know you set it up correctly. Now, go to Ads Manager. Go to the Facebook Ads Manager. And then refresh this page. Now this inactive will go to active. Now you're ready to run a conversions ad. So a conversions ad is simply telling Facebook our end goal, our ultimate goal, the final destination. As someone sees the ad, they click on learn more. They go to the landing page. Where do they end up? What's the final yeah. destination, right? The That's final destination page. in this case, it's simple. It's two simple pages, landing page, thank you page. So the final destination in this simple sales funnel is a thank you page. So Facebook wants to know the final destination, the thank you page. There's the thank you page. So as we run Facebook conversion ads, we're telling Facebook, hey man, our goal is not to just get people to the landing page. Our ultimate goal is to get them to the final destination. Here is the final destination. So as we set up a custom conversion, we're going to let them know about two different links. We're going to let them know about the link that they need to click on. When they click on learn more, where do they go? That's the landing page link. And then the second link that we're going to tell them about when we set up the ad is this one. Okay. Yeah. So Perfect. a custom conversion is normally set up around three different pages. Your um, thank you page, which can also be a thank you for purchasing. So if you were selling something, let's say you were selling ball caps, you were selling hats. I go to your page. I see the red, green, blue, gray hat. I click on the hat. I enter my credit card information. I click on buy now. I then go to a thank you for ordering page. Same shit, right? So that thank you for ordering confirmation page, letting me know that my credit card process, letting me know that my gray, you know, San Diego hat is on the way. That thank you for purchasing page, that link, you would have set it up this way as well. Same thing. That's our custom yes. conversion. We're letting Facebook know, hey, yeah, we're trying to sell hats. That's our goal. But our ultimate goal is to get them to check out and land on this page. That's my custom conversion. So whether you're selling something online or whether you're just simply capturing leads, the custom conversion is set up around the final page. Okay. So, 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 so what I'm saying is that normally there's three in your case, it's a custom conversion around the leads, which is a thank you page, a custom conversion around the thank you for scheduling page, the thank you for scheduling page. So we also want to eventually set up a custom conversion around the thank you for scheduling page. And then for those that are selling stuff online, like products or digital products, those that are selling stuff online, a, a, a third custom conversion would be your add to cart page. So, so as I like, let me share my screen real quick. Let me share my screen. Cause this is, this is important. 
This is the third conversion. Now, this is not something that you'll need right now, um, but eventually, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so look, so for example, this is one of my of my pages. So one of my one of my yeah one of my pages where I'm selling something. Okay, so as a person comes here, and I, t I I'm telling them you know what 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 it is to buy, and there's 14 minutes left to buy, and when you join the social real estate agent training course, you get you know module one, module two. This is where I'm telling them you know 14 more minutes, and then as they scroll down. As they scroll down, this is this is me. And then as they scroll down and they, they see the one-time only payment, they click on this. So here's here's the deal. This link right here could be a custom audience, but it's not my custom conversion. What I'm telling you, a custom conversion is around the thank you page, the or 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 the thank you for purchasing page. Thank you for yes, yes. The yes. The, the, the also the next one is the thank you for scheduling page. That's another custom conversion. Thank you for scheduling. That's another custom conversion, a custom audience, but also a custom conversion. And then in this case, when we're selling something online, I click on the orange button. I then come to the, to the, to the checkout page. This is what we call the add to cart. This is a cart page. This is where they check out. This is a very specific page where they come to purchase, right? So this page right here is what we call an add to cart page. This could be a custom conversion as well. So yes. you don't, you're not selling anything online right there, like, like that right now. So um, go back and share your screen. So you don't need that custom convert conversion, but what, but I wanted to explain that for anybody that's selling something online, um, the add yep. to cart page, that's a custom conversion. So in your case, this is fine. You got leads. That's a custom conversion because as you run ads, that's what you're shooting for is leads. But then also again, eventually you'll want to set up a custom conversion around the thank you for scheduling page. Because as you run other ads, you may want to start running ads to get people to schedule a call with you, right? Yes. In this case, you're running ads to get people to download your free book. But another type of ad is running an ad to get them to schedule a call. That's why you would want the custom conversion set up around the thank you for scheduling page. Because now we're telling Facebook, here's the ad. When they click on it, they go to my calendar but when they fill out the calendar, they land on my thank you for scheduling page, get people there. Make sense? Okay. Yep. So custom audiences, custom conversion. So now as you go and run an ad, so click the dots to the left and we'll run an ad. You're not even close to running the ad right now. You got to clean up those Karcher pages. But, but, but as we get to this part, now we click on the green one. Now we're going conversions. Again, co conversion ads are for those that are looking to capture leads or make sales. Okay, so now we click on conversions. We click next. Let's just shoot through this as an example. We'll fill in all the blanks later. But now as we get to this page, this is the ad set level, right? You got three steps to an ad setup. The new campaign, right there at the top left, top left, you got new campaign, or, or right there, you got new campaign, you got new ad set, and then you got new ad or one ad, right? Those are the three steps. So we're in step number two right here. In step number two, X out right there, right there where you have it highlighted, X that out, down, 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 X that out. Yeah, right there, X that out. So sometimes when you get to this page, the second step, the ad set, this is where we're going to put our budget. This is where we're going to choose the, the date. This is where we're going to choose our targeting, who we're targeting, the age, the demographics. That's the, the second step, the ad set right here. But right here is also where we add. Now, by default, it was already there. But sometimes it'll be blank. And all you do is click on it, click in the red, and find that custom conversion. This should be It should be right there, five tips, leads. That's our custom conversion. It's at the top. So five tips, leads. That's our custom conversion. So now we're telling Facebook, hey man, our ultimate goal is to find it, it. Our ultimate goal is to have Facebook find us people that are gonna get to that page right there. Yep, perfect. So so now you just go through and 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 run the ads. Now, in the very beginning, you're running it to a cold market. What is very, very important, man, and what I touch on on every call when I speak to every client, the most important is to stay consistent with your ads. 
And that's what most don't do. I'm telling you right now, most do not stay consistent. They are not running an ad every day. You have yeah. to run an ad every day, especially for the first couple months. Like you have to, you don't have to be spending a whole lot, but you have to be running an ad every day because that's going to be, that's going to give Facebook the data to start collecting for your custom audiences. Those who are watching your videos and those who are landing on your landing page, but not opting in. And also those who are landing on your landing page, opting in and landing on your thank you for downloading page. So your thank you page, your confirmation page, the, co the custom conversion we just set up. You got to yes. give Facebook enough data. You got to give Facebook enough time. You got to spend money every day to get Facebook that type of information to start building these audiences because where you'll be in two months, for example, is you'll spend that part the next two months after your first two months. It's, it's, it's after your first two months, then month, month number three and month number four, month number five, that's when you can spend time retargeting all your audiences. So your Facebook ad cost ends up being a little bit more expensive upfront because you're targeting people who don't know you yet. If you ran this ad right now, you're targeting a cold market who don't know you. That's the most yep. expensive type of ad. So again, in a couple months, your pixel would have had some data. Facebook, especially if you're running video ads, Facebook would start building audiences of those who are watching your videos. We're talking week number four, week number five, week number seven. You keep running a new ad every week, different ads every week. So now you start building up audiences of people who are watching you, people who are clicking and landing on your pages. So again, it, your, your Facebook ad costs should start to drop over time because now all you're doing is retargeting. You're retargeting warm audiences of people who are engaging versus in the beginning, you're targeting cold market who don't know you yet. Yes. Makes sense. So, so it's yep. all about staying consistent. Um, and, and that's what I, I've yet to see people do. Like they'll run a couple ads and they don't see any ROI. So they just, they just, they just stop or, or they just don't have the budget to stay consistent. And so they just stop, you know? Yeah. So you have to stay consistent, even if you're just spending a few bucks a day, like you have to stay consistent. So, so you're, that's why I always, that's why I always encourage people to, to, to start with a free offer, a free PDF, you know, give away something of value for free to capture leads, to get people to engage, to get people to land on your page, to start capturing data, you know? Um, so you're either giving away something of value for free, a free PDF, or maybe you're getting people to schedule an appointment, but in your case, like you want to just make this the, the, the top of your funnel, your free PDF, everything evolves around your free download. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, um, right. perfectly. Thanks for this. Uh, send me this free if you can, as, soon as you can. Yeah. So, um, this is custom audiences. This is what you'll want to do for all your pages, right? For important pages, landing page. Thank you for scheduling page. Thank you for downloading page. Those are the main custom audiences and, and also custom conversions. But, um, but just making sure your pixel is on every page. So what you got to do now, here's your, here's your homework. Your homework is to freaking, is to, is to clean up those, is to clean up those privacy policy pages. It's to the privacy policy, the terms of, the terms of use and the disclaimer. You got to, you got to update those pages before right. you run, before you run this conversions ad. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Okay. All righty. Thanks. So, so clean up those pages and then, and let, then let's talk again. And then I'll help you run this ad right here. All right. Sounds good. Thank or, you. Or our next call should be running a like ad for the trucker. Uh, all right. We'll see. I'll, I'll work on the pages first. I want to clean up the, okay. the, the privacy policy and then I'll schedule calling them. Sounds next. good, bro. Next I'll talk to you Thank soon. You, Please send me this. this is right okay. Over again. Sounds good. Thank okay, you. bro. Bye-bye.